Hey guys, welcome back. Let's start working on those lots. Make the hillsides and countryside of Skyrim looking really, really nice. So, first thing we're gonna do is install X Lodge and Resources SSE Tam Terrain Tamrail. This plugin adds back terrain for Skyrim and etc. We need it, so let's download it. Let's go to files. All right, we're gonna download the main file here. Model measure download. Go to download sections. Okay. All right, let's activate this. And that should be an ESM. Yep, we want to we want this to be located directly after Worms 2, so just nudge it up. It'll automatically be placed, I think. Yep, directly after Worms 2. All right, that's what we want. All right, activate SSE terrain terminal. That's what we just did here. Loaded after Worms 2. Yeah, we did that. Now, in the drop down here, we'll go to X Lad Gen. As soon as I find it, there it is, Xlogen Gen 64, run. Okay, once we see this uh, window pop up, in this left section here, right click, select all. And in these uh, objects here, we want uh, terrain load to be selected and nothing else. So terrain load. All right, so we got some settings to tweak. So this is for settings for LOD 4, right here. So we want quality to be set to zero. Build diffuse size and build normal size to be 512. So here's build diffuse, build no, um, normal, set to 512 each. Format BC7. Oh, BC7 quick, which it is already. Good. Protect borders. We want that to be checked. That's right here. Uh, mint map. We want both of those unchecked. The They are unchecked. Gamma set to 1.25. That's right here. 1.25. Bake normal maps, we want that to be checked right here. And default size diffuse right here and normal to be 256. So for me, everything was already set. I wonder if this is um, loading up some old cache that I had um, lying somewhere. But um, let's go through that again real quick. So quality right here, set it to zero. Diffuse, uh, build diffuse and normals, that's right here. Set those to 512. Format right here is BC7 quick. Protect borders is checked. Mint maps, we want these right here, both of these to be unchecked. Gamma right here, where is it? Right here, 1.25. Bake normal maps to be checked, that's right here. Default size, diffuse and normals right here. We want that to be set to 256, okay. Now we're gonna move on to LOD 8. So drop down and go to 8, okay. Here we want quality to be set to two. Mine's already set to two. Build diffuse size and build normal size to 512, 512, 512. Format BC7 quick. Okay, I'm good there. Optimize unseen is to be on. That's right here. Mint map, both of these are to be unchecked. Mine are both unchecked. If yours isn't, tick, uncheck those boxes. Gamma, 1.25. Mm -hmm. Default size, 256 for both diffuse and normal. And once again, for me, it was already set. So yeah, I'm probably accessing some cache that I had somewhere. But anyways, um, make sure yours looks like this. So now we're going to LOD 16, drop down, LOD 16, quality four. Uh, build diffuse and build normal, that's these right here. We want these to be 256. Build diffuse, build normal, 256. Format BC7 quick, right here. Optimize unseen, right here, is on. Mint map, both of these should be unchecked. Gamma, 1.25. Default size diffuse, default size normal, 256. That's these two right here. Okay. Now moving on to LOD 32. Boom, right here. Quality, set to four. Build diffuse and build normal sizes, 512. That's right here. Uh, format BC7 quick. Mm -hmm. Optimize unseen to 550. That's right here. Mim maps, make sure both of these are unchecked. Gamma, 1.25. And default size normals and diffuse, 256. That's right here. Okay. So we're gonna ensure that bake normal maps is checked on all the lot options. That's right here, bake normal maps. So we'll go through it real quick. Lot 16, eight, and four. 
All these are checked. Make sure that occlusion is unchecked. I'm referring to this, make sure this is unchecked. And then click generate. And this could take a bit, guys. And when you see log generation complete, you are done. So we can go ahead and close this out. Now go into the, um, wherever you place your output directory. It should be in a root directory of uh, a drive of, of your choosing. For me, I put mine in a root directory of my C drive. So that's where I'm gonna go. There it is right there. So I'm gonna copy this. SSC login underscore output. And I'm gonna go into my mod folder here. I'm gonna go into mod organizer two. And I'm gonna paste it in the mods folder of here. Right click and paste. And it's pretty big, it's over three gigs. <laughs> That's what you need to do for them beautiful lads. All right, then after that, go back into Mod Organizer 2. Uh, we can go ahead and um, disable this. We don't need this anymore, so just uncheck that. So click on Tiny Wrench and Spanner, click Refresh. Boom, there it is. SSC Legend underscore output. So check this box. And then finally, what we need to do is relocate a quality world map and better false guard worm sheath map with the roads. We need to place it underneath here. So <laughs> mod priority 1015. All right, so let's do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna type in world. Oh, right. Boop, there we go. Actually, let me just clean this up just a little bit. Right click, all mods, expand all. All right, now let's try that again. So type in world map, okay. Quality world map, it's priority number 96. So let's just go there real quick, there it is. So we want a quality world map and better false guard worms tooth maps and we want that to be located at the bottom. Uh, priority position 10, 16. Okay, so I'm control clicking both of those. Right clicking, send to priority. Actually, what was that? Let me let me look at something real quick. Send to, yeah, less, less well, yeah, let's set it to highest priority. Boom. Yeah, that worked out nicely. Okay, so moving on. We're gonna start working with some Dindalod stuff. Dindalod darken texture for generation. This mod is used only during Dindalod generation. Once that has been completed, deactivate this mod. We will do that, so let's do that. Miscellaneous files, Dindalod darken texture for generation. The good one, the good one, last one. Okay. So we'll go into files. There it is right here. Dindalod darken texture for generation. Miscellaneous files. Let's go download this. All right, click on the Downloads tab in Mod Organizer 2, and let's install it. But let's rename it first. So, Dindala Dark and Texture for Generation. Okay. So, let's activate that. I mean, we could create separators for all these Dindala and Xlodge and resources and all that, but I just think of it all as just being part of the finish line, so I'm happy with that one separator. All right, so Dindala Dynamic Distant Light Generation. If you aren't familiar with Dindala, Gamers Poets is not part of this. Okay, so TextGen64. All right, TextGen64 is what, is what we're gonna do. Um, I think we had similar instructions here about antivirus, but if you're following this guide, you are good. All right, so TextGen. Before running TextGen, make sure you have the process exclusion for in the antivirus. Okay, Ultra Trees will significantly increase your VRAM usage. If your graphics card has less than six gigs of RAM, VRAM, consider ger uh, generating traditional tree log. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Select TextGen64 from the drop down here. There it is, TextGen64. Run. All right, so let this load up. Uh, okay. So take note of where uh, your output is. So it might set to be um, in the mod folder, like the Legacy of Dragon Warren is what I called it, in the Dindalot folder there. So that's where my text gen uh, output's gonna be. So let's make sure, Ugh, okay. Oh, that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be, why? All right, so I gotta look, look around here. Okay, so change stitch object lot textures, stitch object lot textures to uh, size 256, 1440p. Mine's already set to that. Rendered objects, 
same thing, 256, 1440p. Um, I'm wondering if I'm, once again, accessing some cache that I didn't delete. All right, so then we're gonna change grass and lot billboards to the following, that's right here. Units per pixel, that's right here. We're gonna send it, set, set it to 11, 1080p. I'm already there. Grass is unchecked. Trees is checked. Uh, direct, I want that to be, yep. Yeah. Okay. To 135 and ambient to 55. Already set there, HD tree. We want this checked. And that's also gonna be set to uh, 135 and 55 smoothness to zero all right rendered is checked direct 50 ambient is 150 smoothness is zero diffuse map we want that to be bc7 quick uh the diffuse same thing normal specular same thing and since so so is normal here okay well, now that we verify that we're gonna go ahead and click start and let it do its thing. This could take a little while too. All right, then finally you'll get this box here letting you know you're done. Click X, exit, text gen, boom. All right, now let's go in our mod folder. Then go into Dindalod, and you'll see text gen output right here. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Let's go up one level in our mod folder. Let's go into Mod Organizer 2 and paste it in mods. Right click, paste. Whip. All right, go out, go back in the mod organizer too. Let's refresh this. Click uh, the tiny red spanner, refresh, and there it is, text gen output. All right, now we're gonna do Dindo Loud. So in the drop down menu here, go to Dindo Loud and run. Scooch that over just in case. All right, so from here in the top left section here, we want to check all this. So right click, select all, and then in the options, let's see, what are we doing now? Options in the bottom section. All right, so in the options category in the bottom section, check object LOD. That's this. Uh, dynamic LOD, we want to make sure that's checked. Glow windows, yeah, check that. And high, click on high. For ultra trees, guide default, check ultra. Okay. And uncheck tree lod. Well, when I checked ultra, it automatically unchecked tree lod. For traditional tree lods, uh, check tree lod and uncheck tree lod. So if you were, you can only choose one or the other. So we're going with ultra. Okay, set max tile size lod right here to uh, 1024. Already set. Uh, max tile size full to 512. Boom, okay. Set billboard brightness right here to uh, to five, or negative five rather. Boom, there we go. And set max tile size billboard right here to 512, nope, no, 1024. We want that to be 1024, good. Check fake lights, okay. Let's see, yeah, check, no, 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 no. Fake lights, wait a minute, let's, let, me, let me see this. Check, fake lights, child world. Fake lights, yeah, right here. Brain fart. And then check occlusion data. Where are we at? Where is occlusion data? Oh, it's already right there, okay. Yeah, and then for our quality, occlusion data quality, we wanna set this to three. Okay, and then check terrain underside. Right here, that's checked. In the top right section, check candles and FX glow. That's these right here. Click on the high button to load mesh rules for your load order based on settings for the high preset and earlier selected. So click on high. Okay. In the bottom right section, click OK button to begin uh, the law generation. That's right here. A step that I skipped was check plugin, but it's already checked for us anyway. But make sure you have this right here checked. All right. Then after that, click OK. And uh, this does take a bit. So yeah, get comfy. Okay, and then after all that, you're gonna get this window, and we're just gonna click save and exit. And now let's go into our mod folder, Dindalod. And we're looking for Dindalod output right here, so I'm gonna copy this. Let's go up one layer, boop, level rather. Go to Mod Organizer 2, 
Then right click on mods and paste. All right, let's close this. Go back into Mod Organizer 2. Click on the tiny wrench and spanner. Refresh. There's Dindalod output. Let's check that box. And let's uncheck Dindalod darken textures. We don't need that anymore. Go into our plugins window. And we need to relocate Dindalod ESM. So just nudge it up. And we want to make sure that's placed directly after Worm's Tooth. Yeah. Congratulations, you're almost done, and now you can actually boot up and play the game! Only some settings and MCM changes left to go. <laughs> Guys, it's been a long road, but man, you pretty much did it. This is it. Next video, we're gonna get into MCM settings and, and, and things. But yeah, you're pretty much done, guys. Um, yeah, the next video is just for people that want some um, assistance with setting up their MCM stuff, but... Um, yeah, you're ready to boot up and go, or at the very least, check out what you did. Walk around, uh, take a peek at the sites, check out the NPCs, check out everything. You did a good job. You you worked hard, and and now you've completed the guide. <laughs> yeah, but make sure you back up some stuff. Back up uh, Skyrim.esm and whatnot, because Skyrim Anniversary Edition is about to come out and wreck everything. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming along for the ride. Um, I guess at this point, I'm going to ask, um, now that you've installed everything, are there any mods in the guide that you want uh, to remove? And uh, that's going to lead into the next series of videos after uh, Lexi's guide is how to remove mods from Lexi's guide safely and how to add mod uh, mods to Lexi's guide safely. So. I would like to hear some suggestions, uh, put it in the comments below. Which mods would you like to see removed from Lexi's Guide? And if you have any specific mods that you would like to add to Lexi's Guide that you think uh, you might have some problems with. So I'll make uh, videos on that. Well, uh, well any guy, anyways guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you for following me along throughout this series and um, trusting me. And um, at this point, I would like to ask you to please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to that uh, magical 1,000 um, subscribers mark, and uh, it would just be so amazing if I could hit that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for everything, and uh, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the game. You have an, an incredible uh, mod loadout to play with now, and uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks so much. Anyways, uh, maybe I'll see you in the next video with uh, MCM settings.